In his 1843-44 record of expenditures on Craigie House, Henry Longfellow recorded a payment of $8.86 in his account book to Monroe for hanging bells. This indicates that the newlywed Longfellows installed a call bell system or updated an existing one during their renovation. Ten bells are extant in the house today. Five in the kitchen, three in the servant's pantry or dining room, one in the hall, and one at the front door. Each bell's different tone and location would have signaled a different location to the maid responding to the doorbell or to a summons. Hardware for bell poles remain in the public rooms and family bedrooms, and a reproduction pole in the parlor is based on period photographs and a deteriorated original. These bells work on a system of wires, pulleys, and springs, now largely inoperable due to layers of paint. The wires snake through the house, sometimes following convoluted paths, connecting the family rooms and bedrooms to the service wing. The front doorbell's short connection illustrates how the system works. The call bell system is one of the few surviving traces of the Longfellow's servants, generally a cook, one or two maids, and a nurse for the children, who lived in the house and sustained the Longfellow family's lifestyle.